Hello my crafty ninjas and today I have for you an unboxing video and a little bit of a show and tell. So I have one of my Pipstick subscriptions right now. I have my Tiny Party Club parcel from Sugar and Sloth with the added after dark pin that's usually a little, uh, shall I say, not racy but maybe a little naughty and sassy. So not necessarily for those kitties out there. And then I have a, um, I will be testing out the Sparkle Pop from Pentel, and it's just a big container of a few different colors, so if you use them a lot, you can write, so we'll check that out later on. But first up, since this is on top, we're gonna go ahead and open this Pip Sticks. I love me some Pip Sticks. All right, oh my goodness, look at that! Oh my goodness, that's so cute. All right, first, as you know, we'll just look at the, we'll look at the, this is the little pippy. So this is the Kids Club. So this is the Kids Club um, classic pack, not the um, smaller one. And so this is, let's see, this talks about um, what you, if you get, if you have the ticket, um, then you win this lovely Explore thing. Um, let's see, we've got, you know, Spot the Difference Maze coloring the raccoon, a lovely sticker scene for kind of camping and nature, and then your fun decoder message. But I know what y'all really want is you want to see the stickers, and I am loving, loving this ladybug with puffy leaves. I love that extra add-on. That is awesome. Let me zoom y'all in so you can get a really good look. And I'm also super happy I got some new studio lights. They're LED panels and they're so much brighter. So hopefully I'll be able to see um, without me having to like edit and post making this bright. So this is a lovely ladybug with puffy leaves. I love it. Oh my goodness. So, so great. I just, I love these. And like, what was it? Pen Gems also did ladybugs. Um, for this month. I didn't get that um, subscription, but it looked super, super cute. So moving on, we have these puffins. Let me move in a little bit more so y'all can really see the detail in these stickers, because that is one thing that Pip Sticks does, is they have really great, fun details that really need to be picked up. So here you can see we have the flamingo with little holographic, not holographic, but um, iridescent hollow, gold dots, we have like a parrot, a toucan, a puffin, the uh, binoculars, a seagull, I think a parakeet, another toucan, maybe another puffin, flamingo, and the lovely arrows. So that is a really great sticker sheet. Ooh, we've got some cacti over here, just little cute cacti. They do have some foiling accents. It is the iridescent hollow gold. And that's what all the little spikies are on here. So it's just alternating between kind of an olivey green and a just more traditional grass green all the way down that sheet. For the skinny, skinny one, for the square four by, I think it's four by four. We have, we have fun little cacti. <laughs> with a hat and a mustache and a bandana. So they outlaw cacti? I don't know, that's super fun. Again, the gold iridescent hollow on the scorpion. I have a little, I don't know, is that a muskrat? A gopher, super cute and fun desert scene. And then we've got some cowboy boots with some hollow, I think it's like fracture kind of hollow. And oh no, it's just um, it's just the gold iridescent hollow. I think I don't know. I'm having a hard time seeing it, but hopefully y'all can see it in the video. It is really just really cool stars and different patterns on on these. So I really really love that. It's super cute. All right, now we have a super simple kind of elements for a scene, for camping, for, you know, summer camp and whatnot. So just different trees 
water and grass, picnic blankets. So that'd be really great kind of scene builder for that. Huh, a little bit of a anomaly there. But it's to be expected that everything can be perfect. All right, moving on, we have some border strips. We've got grass and mountains and roads. That'd be really great for like a card or a scrapbook layout, or even just like in your planner, creating a scene and a, you know, some unused area that you need to take up a lot of space for. See, and these are, um, these are matte. These are not glossy, so, so that is nice. These are glossy and these are different forest creatures. We think we have a moose, bison, and bear, and super cute. One has a little bird on his head. That is so cute. Loving that. Those are just super fun party animals. I don't even know what they're called. And then here we have some matte stickers kind of to go with your summer travel plans. If any of you are traveling, these are nice and matte. If you're going to national parks, these really are reminiscent of classic summer vacation sort of decal advertising. And some more matte stickers. These are super geometric birds that are super fun, kind of retro, and just super colorful in a limited palette, which is super fun. All right, and here we have more forest creatures. This time, I think they are park, well, this one's definitely a park ranger. And with the gold hollow foil accent, and we just have the bear. Oh, and a fox and a porcupine and a raccoon who is ready to go hiking with his poles. And oh, look, it's little footprints for the creatures. Super cute, they alternate hollow and black and white. So that is super fun. And again, echoing on the kind of mat as well, these are little mushroomy, mushroomy little tiny rodents. So you've got a mouse and rabbits in those. And those are super fun and cute. I love all the little tiny small details. Then this is my nature journal, so you can definitely create a scene with this. Just adding your stickers onto the page and what you saw on your nature walk. This would definitely encourage me to go on a nature walk. Definitely have things in my area that I have no excuse not going to. So maybe this will encourage you to go take a nature walk. Comment below if you go on a nature walk. And these again have just the little small details of the gold hollow foil, which is super fun. All right, next up we have scratch and sniff cypress. So that's going to be kind of like a piney smell. That smells really good. That smells nice. That smells like a nice candle. It's piney, but not too piney. A little musty, but not musty in a bad way. Just naturey. Super cute. Oh, those actually smell really good. Ah, oh, it smells piney. It smells like the outdoors and a little bit a hint of Christmas because cypress, I think, is kind of like a coniferous tree. So it smells like that. And last but not least, we have a smile postcard with hollow accents. And that's fun. And the little return address, or not the return address, the stamp spot, it says, say cheese. So that is super cute. All right, that is the Pip Sticks Kids Club Classic. Next, we're gonna move on to Sugar and Sloths. So let me get this packed up. One of these days, I will show y'all how I organize my stickers. Not even all of my stickers are organized. Oh no! Well, I guess we'll just leave that right there. It came off with something. Stick that puffy in there. Love, love the puffies. Oh my goodness. Okay, the puffies are like, let me zoom out just a little bit. Here is the tiny party club box. I opened it, but I have not looked inside. So, ta-da. All right, first I guess we'll open the after dark pin and I'll zoom in again for that. So there we go. 
go. Tiny pack of After Dark. So let's see what sassiness Anita came up with. And are you ready for it? I just bloody love dogs. That is super cute for your dog lover. Super fun, nice, heavy duty enamel pin. Super cute. All right, moving on. All right, and then we have our regular enamel pin in here. I'm guessing it's gonna be dog themed, and it is. Live Fast Pet Dogs, that is super cute and fun. It's a doggy <laughs> in a frog costume, that's super awesome. Let's see, we have It Is My Good Ideas pen. Let's see, ah, it's a twisty pen, which is nice. How does it write? Oops, it'd help if it were out. Standard ballpoint pen. So that is super fun. Then we have all doggos are good doggos. Chunky butt. And then, oh, we have a magnet for your fridge or whatever metal surface you might want to put this on. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day for a snack. Who doesn't love a good snack? I love a good snack. Actually, kind of hungry. It's almost lunchtime. Too awesome for your negativity. <laughs> Dog butt. <laughs> Funny. Cute little postcard for encouragement. Lovely. Up. Just give me emotional stability and stickers. Super cute and fun. Hello, little doggo. And our calendar page for. I guess this would be, I don't know, is this gonna be May, June? I don't know. Super cute. All right, that was the Sugar and Sloth subscription along with the extra After Dark pin. This is the After Dark pin. This is the regular one that comes in the box. All right, and last up for right now, I have my Pentel Sparkle Pop. So I'm going to swatch these for y'all. Um, in my little swatching notebook. And do, do, do. as we did with the other ones, I will cut a piece of black paper to go in here. So let me do that really quickly and then we'll get to swatching. And let's pull out these pens. All right. So we've got purples and gold, silver, green, orange, and blue, I think. So yeah, I think that's all. Oh, and pink, pink, can't forget pink. I think that's all, but then these are just duplicates in there. Oh, and is there a black one in here? And there's a black one in here as well. So that is, that should be super fun. And these barrels have kind of iridescent, I don't know if y'all can see that, but they have an iridescent sparkle to them. That is actually super fun. I hadn't noticed that. Not a lot of pen manufacturers do that. Okay, all right, let's get to swatching. Let's kind of do Roy G. Biv. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, and then we'll do, you know what? We'll do the black, gold, and silver at the end. So we'll start off with this pinky color. Start off with the pinky color, and this is, we'll fill this out with a regular pen, Sparkle Pop Pentel. Let's 
Alright, so let's do Pink Swatch. That one. Next are orange. I'm really liking the coverage on these. Really loving the coverage on these. Ooh, this is kind of like a coppery orange. That is really nice. These are wider tips, they aren't fine tips. You're definitely getting Halloween vibes from this uh, orange on the black. That's nice. Okay, we have green. Ooh, that is a nice green. It's a deeper grass green. It has a tiny bit of blue in it, which makes it really pretty. It doesn't stand out quite as well on the black, but I don't I wouldn't expect you to use all of these on um on black paper. Let's see the blue. Ooh, that is a nice deep blue with a lot of coverage. That green, once it dried, is almost blue. Interesting. Looks like they're kind of changing colors a little bit once they dry and getting a little bit brighter. Nice, deep, dark purple again. These are really fun. I think it has like a kind of blue iridescent sheen to it. That almost looks blue on the black, and that blue looks dark green, and the green looks blue-green. Interesting, that must be the color of the glitter that's in there. All right, next up we have black. That ball is, ball is rolling around nicely. I think it's like a, a reddish iridescent to it. And once these dry, they are definitely showing up on the black. So I think that's kind of like a red iridescent to that. Here is the gold. I was having a little harder time writing on here. Let me grab another one. Sometimes that, that happens. Okay, here it is. That's a green. Here's a gold. Could have been the oils from my hand on the paper as well. Or maybe the gold ones just don't work very well. All right, there are a few in here, so let's find another gold. Here we go. Let's see how it turns out on the black. That is nice and sparkly on the black. These just, these gold are not doing so well, huh? Interesting. Okay, it started out well, but I don't know. Maybe they picked up something, but there's gold glitter in the gold, so maybe they just need to sit out a little bit. I don't know. All right, let's see how the silver does. All right, I think the silver just has straight up iridescent. I think that it's the oils from my hand that are really messing with this. Oh, there we go. Here we go. I just need to get going. I just hadn't woken up yet. There we go. That silver is really standing out on that black paper. That is really pretty. All right, let me hold this up so y'all can see because these are actually really, really fun. So we've got the pink, the orange, the green, blue, purple, black, gold, and silver. Silver is really extra shiny. The gold just isn't working for me. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. And the black is super fun, especially on white paper, because it has, it has the red. I don't know if you can see that. It has a reddish fuchsia shine to it you can barely see it on the black there you go this is the blue no this is blue this is purple and that's green because that is orange and then that is the pink 
So there we go. That is what I have so far. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on all things social, and share my video because I would really appreciate it. Um, follow the links in the description. They do have affiliate links. It helps support me as a small YouTuber. All right, y'all, I got my second Pipsticks just a day later, so let's go ahead and open this one. All right, so here we go. Here is our Pippi. Let's see, we've got behind the scenes, we've got a list of the stickers that are in here. We've got a little note from Mo. Um, we've got some behind the scenes stickers, behind the scenes of Pip Six, the color palette for this month, the Pips Pole, DIY sticker manicure. If you have a ticket, then you won six months of fresh flowers, which is wonderful. Here is a sneak peek at next month's stickers. And then here are the way to use your stickers from so many feelings. All right, let's get into it. All right. Okay, so first off, let's zoom in just a little bit so y'all can see just a little bit better. Okay, these are some lovely butterflies and more of kind of like a muted dark theme. They have a silver hollow foil as accents, and there's like black and some light pink and the gold, the hollow foil detailing is super cute. Next up, we have these lovely hearts with gold foil. Um, edges and these lovely fun floral pattern in the center and these are matte next up we have some functional arrows in different lengths and in a variety of rainbow colors super fun and functional for whatever you might use in your planner or whatnot next up we have these lovely couches with floral print on them and some gold hollow accents. Super fun and cute. These are shiny and semi-transparent, not completely opaque, and of course obligatory cats to lay on your couch and cushions so you can decorate your ultimate lounge area. Super fun. Keeping on playing with the plant theme, we have some herbs. So these are matte stickers with gold foil accents. You have some cilantro and basil and mint and lavender. Super fun for all you herby people out there. Next up, we have some matte square cows with different things. And a super cute cow with a flower crown and some flowers right there. Green thumb, I guess would kind of be the theme for this month's pack fun matte vinyl sticker. Next we have some border flowers. These have a little bit of, I think, gold hollow and no, just gold foil accents. So just three different kinds of flowers, super cute. Next up we have plant ladies. So these have silver hollow accents and just all sorts of fun little plants that we all have come to know and love over this pandemic. A shopping cart full of plants, super cute. And if you want plants and tea, you can have a garden party with this lovely one. These are all matte. There aren't any um, hollow accents in this, but this is super cute and kind of retro. And going with that kind of retro theme, we've got some undies, unmentionables, in different shapes. So super fun and cute you can put on after you take a bath in your lovely flower bath. You take a soak in that. I know I want to take a soak in a bath because I am recovering from my second COVID shot and it hit me like a ton and a half of bricks. So 
yeah, there's that. This has lovely silver hollow foil and super cute little flowers in bathtubs. And these are shiny, glossy. Next up we have these fun water flower stickers with sweet gold foil accents, which is super cute. And we have the water coloring of the flower and a watercolor palette in that. Super fun and cute. And last sticker that we have is these lovely alphabets with teeny tiny little stickers and even tinier gold hollow foil accents. They are super cute. So zoom into these. I can't zoom in close enough to do these justice, but these are super cute. Be really great for a title or for planners or something. So these are super fun. And last but not least, we have a wonderful holographic postcard. And I have to say, my new lights are making this hollow glitter shine like nobody's business. I am loving that. So cute and retro with that silver hollow glitter. And on the back, the stamp mark is a little flower. So there we have it. That is this month's Pro Sticker Club collection. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on all things social. Share this video. Um, subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!